Stephen Allison, full-time Devils, delighted to be joined by Mr. Tony Park, Manchester United youth author and historian. Today we're profiling academy prospects. We're going to be talking about this one, Dimitri Mitchell. Now this is a player who announced himself to the Manchester United fans this season with a one-touch lob, um, I mean, spectacular finish. Do you think he's able to step up and be that goal scorer that we need in the under-23s? I think when you look at Demi, he's got all the qualities to be a class forward. He burst onto the scene probably two or three years ago. I don't know if you remember the England game where he, he weaved through about three or four different defenders and put the ball in the top corner and everybody went, wow. Uh, a massive explosion onto the scene at under 16 level. He had a great first season where he was uh, uh, contributing to goals, beating players for fun, normally in a wide position. Very similar to Rashford where he would play wide. He's, uh, much, he's much silkier than Rashford. I think he's got more skill on the ball than, than Marcus does. Uh, but then he doesn't have the physique that Marcus does yet either. Unfortunately, last season, Demi had a stop-start season. He would get back to fitness and pick up a niggle. And it was never one thing that kept him out for a long period of time. It was a series of a knee knock, an ankle knock, an Achilles. It was just one thing after the other. I remember seeing him out um, in, in, in Manchester and I said, you know, you must be so frustrated. And he says, it's just one thing after another. And it was, it, you could see he was, he was still confident, he was still positive, but he was very frustrated. And I think that showed last season where he, I think he only played three or four, started three or four games last season. It was only to the end of the season that he started to get some substitute appearances. Um, and he, and for the, for the under 21s, and Warren Joyce kept him out wide because when you've lost almost a year of development, you're not quite sure how the kid's gonna feel when he gets back in the team. You're not quite sure of the physical strength, the mental strength, because training's one thing, playing is something different. To come back to your point about the goal he scored against Leicester, I think what you've seen this year is a really fit, really strong, really confident Demi Mitchell. He had a great game at Port Vale. He scored a goal, he, he went past player, won a penalty. Again, really confident lad, he's got all the skills. He came off the bench against Leicester, took his opportunity from the kick from Johnston really, really well, because he's that sort of player. He, he, he's, when he was younger, they called, they called him, he's a player who's got the X factor. Mm. And I said, what do you mean by that? And they said, he can have a game and you think, Demi, what are you doing? And then all of a sudden he can create something out of nothing, a piece of absolute magic. And I think you saw that at Leicester, where he had this vision to take the ball so early and everyone in the stands is saying, what are you doing that for? One touch. One touch, One touch. He, he knew exactly what he was doing. Uh, the, the thing he's got to do now, he's got to build on that. He has got to start games as opposed to coming off the bench. A couple of people I've been seeing on some of the social media forms say, why isn't he starting? A lot of that is to do with Warren Joyce being a little bit careful not to re-aggravate some of the injuries he's having. Uh, I know for a fact that they're very keen to get him going again, but they don't want to rush him. And I think that's fair to the player uh, as any, anybody else. But I think what we'll start to see now as his confidence and his, his uh, game starts to go, and also he gets stronger, match strength, match strength, uh, I think we'll start to see him more and more. Whether he can play up front or not, I think that's time to tell. I think that's going to be perhaps one of the gambles that Warren Joyce is going to make this season. And if you think about it, if he can get a really fit Callum Gribben playing behind a really fit Demi Mitchell, then I it's think goals. then I think you might have a goal machine in that centre of that 23 side, if you like. But the key, I think, is going to be keeping them fit. I think, as you mentioned, I think the, the lack of personnel is going to force the hand a little bit in this. And I do think we're going to see him maybe as a number 10, maybe out on the left, maybe as a centre forward. And I do think Warren Joyce lacking options up there is going to be forced to turn to him. And as we've seen, this, this kid knows how to put the ball in the back of the net. Certainly does. He is a class act. The shades of Andreas Pereira, the way he ghosts past people, I think he's got an unbelievable touch. Uh, goes around people, not with blistering speed, more with a smooth silkiness about him. So make sure you keep an eye out for Demi Mitchell. I do think he's very likely to be leading the line, not in a Wilkin sort of way, not in no. a Zlatan sort of way, but he's going to be the number nine, I think anyway. I'm not sure about Tony, but uh, I think he'll be the number nine for the Manchester United 23s this season. And if that's the case, I expect several goals from him. Um, so thank you for joining us. Thanks to Tony. Uh, make sure you keep an eye out for Dimitri Mitchell in the Manchester United under 23s this season. And we'll see what happens with him. I think he's an absolute prospect. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you soon.